Nirepiram has a little bit of a unique side effect profile and it has an increased risk of thrombocytopenia. And this thrombocytopenia can happen early and, and rather fast and can be quite profound at times. So we monitor these patients more closely than we do with the other PARP inhibitors where they get weekly labs uh, at least the first month and really anytime there's a dose adjustment we do weekly laboratory studies with CBC and we need to act when we start to see grade one platelet toxicity. We need to do dose reductions, dose holds, um, and again, that uh, is well spelled out in the uh, package insert. There are several other trials on, uh, going at this point with the Rapparip. The PRIMA trial is going to investigate the safety and efficacy for patients after completion of frontline chemotherapy. Those patients have to have a response to the first line surgery and chemotherapy. Those patients will then be treated in a randomized control fashion with either an Rapparip or placebo as a maintenance therapy. So this is a trial that's going to really move near Rapparip, a PARP inhibitor, into the frontline treatment and we certainly hope that uh, we will see at least an increase in progression-free survival. My prediction will be based on the data that we know from other studies that Nirapurib will likely make a difference and hopefully very similar to what we have seen in the NOVA trial for all patients regardless of HRD status or BRCN2 mutations. Nirapurib is also uh, being tested in uh, combination uh, with um, bevacizumab and uh, in combination with uh, uh, pembrolizumab which is a immune checkpoint inhibitor. Both of those approaches do make a lot of sense. The bevacizumab is, uh, trial is called the AVANOVA trial. Bevacizumab is an antiangiogenic agent that uh, can further decrease the expression of genes that are involved in homologous recombination simply by the virtue of depriving the tumor of blood supply. In that context, the PARP inhibitors actually might have better efficacy. So the synergy here is biologically sound, and we still have to see whether it works in patients. The combination with immunotherapy in uh, the Topazio trial, um, immune checkpoint inhibition with pembrolizumab, like likewise makes biologically uh, sense because uh, <clears throat> the PARP inhibitors might increase the expression of neoantigens which we believe are highly important in uh, predicting the response to immunotherapy. So we'll see how these trials uh, work out. The quadro trial is still a single agent niraparib trial, which will look at the efficacy of niraparib in those patients that have recurrent ovarian cancer.